Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Aries. I hope you're all well. Thank you so much for dropping in to listen. I really appreciate it. Let me just get right into your reading and see what's going on. What is the overall energy surrounding Aries in their love life? The overall energy surrounding Aries. Overall energy surrounding Aries. Trust. Aries. Abundance. Ooh, you can trust there's some abundance coming your way. Beautiful. An opportunity. There's an opportunity that hasn't quite been exposed yet. Still kind of in the dark. There's a need for a little more clarity. Wow. One more for Aries and embracing. Okay. I feel like there's something coming in towards you. Something very abundant. Something big, but it's not been exposed yet. Uh, you may not trust it. Some, you may have some trust issues because there's things that are hidden. Okay, but there is abundance. Rest assured. It's something big. So this is saying to embrace this, to just be calm, just be still and wait. Hmm. Wow. This, <laughs> you're ready for it. You will embrace this when it comes in. You'll be happy for it, I think. All right, Aries. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Aries? Viewers, clear messages and guidance for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Aries. Yeah, there's some kind of change coming. Yeah, somebody coming back around. Some kind of change to do with this King of Stones, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Oh, uh, yeah, there's something here. Somebody here you don't trust. You don't want to look at this. I feel like you've turned your back on someone. Somebody is feeling very weighed down emotionally. They don't want to look at themselves. Somebody may be feeling a little upset, a little ashamed, a little sad. It's going to be different for all of you. I feel like this person's probably kind of lonely. Not so sure you trust this person. It's somebody who's coming back around. Things are evolving and changing. I feel like you're moving, moving on. I feel like you don't want to deal with this person. Uh, because there's something that's hidden. Yeah, there's a cycle that's ending, a new cycle. I think when the seasons change, this person's coming back around. Yeah, you're, you got a choice here. The forest lover is you're ending a cycle with this person. You're ready to go towards someone else. You're very focused on, on your abundance. You're focused on something else. You're trying not to focus on this person. I feel like this person's a little bit sneaky and deceptive. Be very careful here. Uh, I feel you're trying really hard to change your focus, okay? You're focusing on your money, your, your abundance, your you're holding yourself in high regard. I'm feeling an empress energy starting to build here. And then we have the six of bows. So, yeah, you're setting yourself free from somebody here. You've got your boundaries up. You're not budging. You're, you're setting yourself free. And you're letting somebody go. You're ready to go off on a new adventure. And I feel there is something headed your way. Something beautiful. Ah, somebody's trying to get in the way. They want to know if you've set yourself free. Um, I feel like you're having a lot of success. You're doing really well. Yeah, you got another offer coming in. Look at that. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Uh, I see Gemini energy. It could be a Gemini, Taurus, Cusp. Definitely earth and air energy in this reading. Lovely. So you have some kind of offer coming in, a seed. There's somebody who's watching you, soul searching, wondering what you're up to. Look at that. They're waiting for information, waiting for news, waiting for communication. This is somebody wearing a hood, somebody that's in hiding, hermit mode. Could be a Virgo. And I feel you have a couple people with earth coming towards you. You have a choice. You're ending something with one person. You're focusing on somebody more abundant. Beautiful. So we have the world. Why is the world here? Why is this world here for Aries? Yeah, you're changing. You're mo you could be moving. Yeah, there's some happiness coming. Wow. Yeah, you're ready for something. Some happiness, some emotional fulfillment. Tell me about this king of stones. Yeah, Gemini, Taurus, Cusp, possibly, could be a Virgo for some of you. But I feel like this person's down here sort of getting in the way. <clears throat> yeah, I feel like, yeah, because I feel like you're trying to set yourself free. And it's like, you're getting an offer. You're having success. You're moving forward towards something new. 
and it's something solid, something reliable. I feel you have your something you may have manifested. Somebody may have manipulated you in the past too. Maybe it could be this Virgo person or a, a Gemini or a Taurus. Maybe all. And uh, yeah, let me see this mirror. Someone feels weighed down by this. Tell me about the mirror. Why is the mirror here? Someone's being forced to look in the mirror. Uh, the magician. Somebody needs to go within and fix themselves. Yeah, you don't feel safe with this person. You're not, you don't feel safe. You don't trust this person that will ever make you, will ever make you feel safe. I feel, wow, yeah, you're being practical. You're trying to keep yourself grounded. I feel you're focusing on your money, your career, your abundance. You're planning something for the future. You're ending a cycle. You have a new cycle beginning. I don't think it's been exposed yet. It's still in the dark, but it's coming. Tell me about the wheel. You're concentrating on your money, uh, your future. You're, you're just really taking care of yourself. Wonderful. You're looking good, Aries. Tell me about the wheel. Yeah, so something's, you've rejected someone. Something's coming to an end. Yeah, something happened here. Yeah, you've, I feel like you get a lot of offers. And I feel like that you've, you've had two or three offers. You got some choices here. I feel like you're, uh, you may be ignoring some of your offers. Uh, some of them you're just not so sure about. But there's definitely one that's more abundant than the others. <laughs> yeah, that's the one, right? Yeah, could be a Taurus. Yeah, somebody traditional, reliable, somebody who's commitment material. That's what you're looking for. You've possibly been going out uh, on and off to visit people, to you know get to know people, socialize a little bit. Uh, could be somebody you've known before. There's something coming up. Uh, whatever you do, if you get any offers, any dates, any um, invitations, don't don't reject them, okay? I know you're tired. I feel like you've been working a lot, focused on work, and you're really ready for some kind of a break. Um, so go out and have some fun. Yeah, you're definitely, there's some, somebody is focused on you. They think you got it all going on. Uh, this is somebody who's coming in right. This is somebody who I feel that you may be able to have some faith in. You got someone else who's coming around that I feel comes back exactly the way they always did before, manipulating. So be careful of that person. They're going to come in very quick. Tell me about, yeah, you got a choice. You're going to reject one person. You're going out. You got somebody else here because I feel like you've been meeting people. Tell me about the Woodward, the Woodard, the Woodward, Woodward. Why is the Woodward here? Yeah, this is the Woodward is very stubborn. This is somebody very stubborn. Somebody wants everything their way, refuses to budge. Okay, you can see this person kind of grumpy too, you know. They just want everything their way or they have a little, I don't know, sit down and have a little pout. Who knows, right? When he's stubborn, stuck. I think you're bored of that. Tell me about the Woodard. Why is this here? You've got some very strong boundaries right now too. Like you're not budging. You're not. You're looking out for yourself. You're holding yourself in high regard. You know, you're being practical. You're planning something for the future. I feel you don't feel safe with someone here. It's like you don't even want to look at this person. And I feel you got this Virgo here, possibly Taurus Virgo. You know, it's really sad. There's somebody here who who doesn't recognize the abundance, the possibilities. Uh, between you and them and there is somebody who does and that's the interesting thing and because uh, we have the power couple here you know, Aries if you got Taurus Virgo or Capricorn in your chart some of you it'll be Virgo some of you Taurus some of you Capricorn maybe both <laughs> or all three so yeah I feel like there's something just not working somebody doesn't want to put any work or effort into um, yeah somebody's stubborn yeah, so I feel like you're just working on your success, you're concentrating on your abundance yourself, and you're just being very creative, and you're you're not giving in to this person. You're holding yourself in high regard because you're setting yourself free. You're getting a lot of attention. Uh, you're having a lot of success with your work and your career. Uh, you're getting a lot of offers. Money's looking good because you got Capricorn here, right? I always see that as it could be a Virgo too but I always see that card as Capricorn I don't know why 
And then we have, the, it just has become that, even though I know it's Taurus and Virgo. Yeah, Ace of Stones. Somebody's money's good. Yeah, you got a new beginning. Things are looking good. You have something new, a new offer. Somebody's watching you. I see you got this hooded man, this person who's hiding out there, keeping themselves hidden, watching for news messages to try to find out what's going on. And I feel like you do. It hasn't quite appeared yet, your opportunity. This new person hasn't quite popped into the picture, but it's coming. And it's because of all your abundance, because you've held yourself in high regard. And it's going to be beautiful. You're going to embrace this. Uh, it's beautiful. Tell me about trust. Yeah, so you're, yeah, so you've got someone here. You're looking at a situation with someone and you don't trust them. You know, you don't feel safe. You feel like you need to protect yourself from this person who manipulates. Okay, somebody who's kind of selfish. It's hard to trust people who are selfish. Um, you know, and stubborn and stuck. You know, somebody who doesn't really like to share anything. A little bit, maybe even greedy or miserly sometimes. It all depends. Yeah, so you're looking at this. And I feel like you're holding out, you're protecting yourself. And I feel like you're waiting for this offer. Yeah, you have a new offer. You have new love coming, a fresh new start. It's beautiful. It's very abundant, uh, very emotional. Uh, that cup is running over here. See, that's what you need to make, to bring in the abundance, to keep the seeds growing. You need that water. You see how this water's pouring out? All over that abundance, all over. Things start to bloom and flourish. Beautiful. Tell me about embracing. Why is this here for Aries? Why is embracing here? I feel like you got somebody who wants to give you a really big hug, and maybe you just need a really big hug. You're a little drained, a little tired, Aries. Tell me about embracing. Why is this here? Yeah. Uh, you're being very patient, yeah. You're being patient. You're waiting for this, yeah. You're ready for it. You're investing. You're just going to be patient and wait for this to come to you. It's coming. It's right here. <coughs> you may even know who this person is that's coming towards you. They could be a Leo. Uh, they could be a Taurus or a Gemini. Taurus Gemini cusp, somebody with Leo in their chart, beautiful energy. Could be somebody you used to work with. Interesting, maybe even a boss. Yeah, it could be because this is somebody who knows your work ethic. Yeah, very nice, possibly. So let's see, opportunity. What is this opportunity? What is this opportunity? What is this? There we go. Yeah. So ah, you're way, you got a couple. You're going to be weighing the pros and the cons between two. Wow. And I feel like you have someone here too that's out of balance. Somebody who doesn't see, maybe doesn't see you as an opportunity. Maybe they don't see your abundance. They don't see your worth or your value. So tell me about the hooded man. Who is the hooded man? Who is this person that's hiding? Could be anybody, really. Uh, this is somebody who's looking at the possibilities. Somebody who's looking to see if you have other options, if your options are open. Somebody's soul searching, thinking about the possibilities. Yeah, somebody's about to make a choice or a decision here, weighing the pros and the cons. Something's out of balance with this person, though. This is somebody who needs, doesn't have, this is somebody who's very focused on their money, very much themselves. You don't trust this person. You you know who that person is. They could be a Virgo, but they could really be anybody, anybody that's in this reading, okay? And uh, yeah, tell me about this Two of Pentacles. Why is this here? Two of Pentacles for Aries. Ah, uh, yes. The star, yes, you're holding yourself in high regard. You're purging and releasing something, or there's somebody here that needs to heal. The situation does seem a little out of reach, but it's your hopes and dreams, or it's this person's. I see some Aquarius energy here. Some of you have Aquarius in your chart. When you've got that Aquarius energy, you can purge and release and reach for the stars, and you're very good at finding that inner balance. So really nice. Yes. Something needs to be balanced out here. There needs to be a balance over head and heart. Mm-hmm. 
I can see that. Maybe that's you, balance in your head and heart. You're very balanced right now. Aries, if you've got Aquarius in your chart, yeah, you've got an opportunity coming. You have several, in fact, uh, people coming towards you. One of them definitely outweighs the other <laughs> for their abundance because they're very generous, uh, very, you know, emotional, at least emotional enough for you, right? And, uh, yeah, anybody who doesn't offer you, yeah, you're moving towards that Ten of Cups. Wow, yeah. <clears throat> I was just going to say, too, I feel like, ooh, you're getting something you want here. You are getting a wish come true. You're so close. This person's really, really close. Okay, so I feel like you're walking away from one person and uh, you're patiently waiting for this other person to come towards you. Yeah, that's that soulmate. There you go. There's your Ten of Cups. Yeah, it's coming. You've got a very beautiful, abundant connection headed towards you. Uh, a fresh new start. Something worth investing in, embracing. You're waiting patiently. You just have to wait for a little bit. It's almost here. Okay? It's almost here, Aries. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, King of Pentacles. See, we've got the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. And uh, you're mirroring each other. You're very similar people. I feel like your charts, you probably mirror each other in your astrological charts. I know what you're all going to say. <laughs> that twin flame thing, right? Maybe, maybe not. It all depends what you believe in. Okay. Yeah. So you be careful what you wish for, though. Okay. Because this is somebody you may offer one cup and nothing more. Somebody might be a little selfish. Not so sure you trust this person. You may be ending things. And when you end this situation, maybe with this person, whatever, there's something that's happening that is a big transformation here. Something is about to transform. You may be getting something you want. Uh, you may have a, like I said, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or somebody. Uh, I feel like it could even be a cusp person. Very interesting. Beautiful energy. Yes. Tell me about the Four of Pentacles. Tell me about, whoops, four of pentacles. Get these cards out there and focus. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, so you're, yeah, you're holding back. You feel like you need to protect yourself. You have some trust issues you need to release. Because there's someone here you don't trust and you're not so sure. You need to think about it. It's keeping you pretty stuck. Not so sure. You have somebody here that's holding on to you. Uh, they have something that they are holding on to that they need to release as well. And, uh interesting enough yeah i think you're going through a healing right now aries i feel that you're you've got something coming in yeah releasing some burdens might not even be you it could be somebody coming towards you something's being dropped here something's being let go yeah look oh somebody's coming back from the past Oh my goodness, someone's cutting in here. You got a cancer energy. You have someone here who's fighting very hard to control the flow of emotions. Somebody's coming in to take control towards a reconciliation. You may have someone at a distance. You've got somebody coming. You're patiently waiting for this. And I feel um could be a cancer or it's somebody who's using all the power they have to control their emotions. Somebody might control their emotions and fight not to share their feelings that maybe they'll do something sweet for you but i feel like whatever it is you're healing and releasing you are you're getting out of dodge because you want that sweet kind of love i it, it could go in a lot of different ways you want that innocent sweet love you don't want that um, manipulative kind of energy like the magician can have sometimes and you know when they manipulate to get what they want you know like you want to be careful tell me about the magician what's this person's what is this just a balance yeah somebody trying to manifest something manifest balance justice balancing something out oh yeah here there you go <laughs> it's there's the energy somebody's coming in to manifest something they have to go about it just right because there you are queen of swords Come to me right or don't come to me at all or I'm out of here. Okay, yeah, you're holding yourself in high regard. You have all the power. You're the one with the control here. 
You're the one with all the power here, Aries, to control this situation. You may be using a lot of your power to put an end to a situation, move towards something much sweeter, uh, much uh, simpler, and mu much uh, more emotional. So beautiful energy. Let's grab, I'm going to grab a couple of these. I know I'm a bit croaky. I did a lot of readings. My throat's dry. I'll be all right. Hot cup of tea. I'll be good to go. All right. Ten of cups. Dealing or relationship with a woman. Yeah. It's definitely a woman here. Somebody is dealing with a woman with dark hair. Somebody's coming back around to deal with a woman. Who could that be? Could that be you, Aries? I see a lot of abundance, fertility. I see love, new love, the birth of a new a new love, new ideas. There could be money. You could be moving. It's This is a really quite a beautiful reading. You're getting something you want. Yeah, there's a basket. Recognition and reward for merit. Ooh, something lovely is coming your way. Oh, April. If you're in April Aries, <laughs> you're going to get something lovely here. Wow. You could have, what other month Aries would be? Pi not Pisces, uh, Taurus. Ooh, you could have a Taurus coming towards you. Somebody with a birthday in April, it could be a Taurus, yes. Could be you. And then we have Archway. New, oh, this is something blossoming and blooming like spring. Something fresh and beautiful and abundant. Oh, that's what it's saying. Oh, that's what you're going to get. Something sweet, something wonderful, some kind of recognition. Oh, I see this basket. Beautiful. Wow. And then we have archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Oh, you're going through that archway. Reminds me of the unicorn card that I love so much of jumping through that archway into something completely new. You've got a lot of good stuff coming. New love is what it looks like. Fresh, new, sweet love. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I better start asking on something else. Tell me about this two of cups. Oh, pineapple. Could be a reconciliation. Somebody may be coming back from your past, swooping in, coming in to take control. It's looking good. Look at that pineapple. Oh, pineapple. Where do they grow? Hmm, Hawaii? Anywhere else? Maybe somebody like that? <laughs> hmm, that may have a meaning to you as well. Some of you, we have tradition. I know I have subscribers that are from Hawaii. Uh, you will be shown the way, yeah. Somebody is learning something about their traditions or beliefs and their behaviors. Or somebody's going to light the way uh, for this path with this decision. So somebody is going to help you make a choice or you're going to help somebody else make a choice in love with this candle, this light. Wow, things are going to become much clearer. Somebody's going to come in and express themselves, make an offer, or you have you have new love coming. Oh my gosh. You may have a couple offers coming. Uh, we have the Stark. Yep, birth of the Stork, birth of a new idea, new business opportunity. This is also because the Empress is up here. It could be work. Some, oh, you've got beautiful, beautiful things coming. Definitely love. One more. Wow. And we have the star. July. So somebody who's born in July. The star. Hmm. This is something that may have started in July. Interesting. That has a meaning to you. Something that started in July. Uh, you're getting something you want. Uh, there's an opportunity. Something you started in July is about to come to fruition. Beautiful. And the chariot. Ah, yes. Opportunity or windfall. Yeah, you've got it. somebody coming in. That's the carrot, though. Remember what I always say about the carrot and the Six of Pentacles? Somebody comes in, tosses breadcrumbs, they dangle that carrot. They come in and they, right? Somebody's trying to come in and take control by dropping breadcrumbs, not communicating clear. If you have somebody like that comes around and they have a tendency to dangle that carrot and then reject you, 
Okay, they come in. Be careful of anyone coming back in that tries to take control. Don't lose your power. Keep yourself under control. I feel like you got someone coming back in that wants to control things. Be very careful. Don't grab for that carrot. Okay, and then come in and toss you breadcrumbs. If somebody tosses you breadcrumbs, all right, Just drop that person like a hot potato because I can see there's, you got several offers. One is absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, new person, something new. And then you got this other person who's going to try to tempt you by offering you something, but it's their means to take control. There's somebody from the past coming. So that's not necessarily the good person. Somebody here has a history of uh, breadcrumbing. So they may turn, and then they'll turn around and reject you and go out with somebody else just to hurt you. So be careful. Like I said, you've got, I, I, I felt earlier that there was somebody here that just felt a bit off and then it kind of cleared up. So let's hope whatever it is clears up and everything's okay. Just whatever you do, hold yourself in high regard. Make sure you get exactly what you want or do not take it, okay? Aries, all right, I'm going to grab some outcome. I don't mean to be bossy, but I'm looking out for you guys. <laughs> I can see that I, you know, when any time somebody tries to come in and take control, and you know how I am about the carrot. They dangle the carrot, and then they pull the rug out from under you, which is very, very cruel. And I feel like you're tired of this. So you're taking control and putting an end to something, which is going to end a whole past situation. So be careful. If you, the carrot comes, <laughs> could be somebody with red hair. You never know, right? <laughs> no, it's just, I don't know. what. As soon as that hit me, I was like, no, no, don't read my whole reading. If you're going to dangle something, it best be a diamond ring, right, Aries? Yeah, something you can trust. All right, here we go. What is the outcome of this situation? Truth. Yeah, somebody needs to come in and speak the truth. But you also need to speak the truth to yourself. See the truth in a situation or the truth of a person. So be careful. Watch that wishful thinking, okay? Just be careful. It's looking beautiful down here, though. And I like that because you and somebody else... Uh, this new, new person, not this person from the past. This new person is gorgeous. Yeah, this reconciliation may not, uh, there may be something hidden, something dark. It may not be the opportunity you think it is. Weigh the pros and the cons before you accept it. Yeah, so you may get some message news that's uh, delightful here. Nice. Yeah, something is going to be illuminated. There it is, that clear new beginning with the stork, something new. Yeah, there you go. Somebody's going to take you out on a date. See, you've met somebody. You've rejected this person that dangled the carrot, and you're meeting someone new. You have a whole new cycle starting. You're going to start getting out, and you're, this is where it, there's your new beginning. You're going for it, Aries. I wish you guys the best. Take care of yourselves, all right? Avoid the carrot. Don't even buy carrots. Don't even eat them for a while. Okay, I, I feel that they're just, I think they're just evil right now. Okay, take care. Bye for now.